Hey, 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 everyone. This is Andy with Andy's Auto Detailing and Ceramic Coatings. We are going to do the long awaited mobile detailing setup build, whatever. Um, this is our mobile rig that we've been working on. If you've been following my channel for a long time, you've seen some of our other ones. We started with a Chevy Astro van, and then we went to a Chevy Express van, then we went to a Silverado. Um, set up now we are running what is called a workhorse this is an old usps vehicle um, we freshly got it wrapped i just coated it uh, yesterday put a ceramic on there um, so i figured this is a great time to show everybody and finally show our progress on this it is not done by any means um, you're going to see that on the inside the outside is pretty much done at this point as far as what we wanted to do, other than I wanna do something different with the bumpers. Um, but other than that, the outside is pretty much done. So let's check it out. Uh, we're gonna start with the outside. It's got a full wrap, as you can tell. Um, one of the few things that I love on it is doing this right here that links people directly to our website um, and our online booking. Of course, we tinted the windows with ceramic film. Let's check out the back. One thing I did back here is I wanted to support some of the people that I work with. Um, our window tinter, my daughter-in-law, a good family friend, uh, and then just a way that I can showcase their business a little bit. Um, but there's that. Of course, a backup camera. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. There we go. So I want to let you guys know it's not super clean in here or anything because it's functional and I've been using this. I didn't go through and just go clean everything up. Maybe I should have just to show you guys all, but um, we went ahead and put this in there because I actually, oh, I keep putting my hand in front. But anyway, I put that sign up there because before we had that, when we'd have the door open, before we had the wrap, I'd have the door open and be able to showcase that. So we put everything on these hidden reels. Um, so I'm gonna start this. I know this camera is gonna be shaky and all that. Sorry about that. So everything is on reels. Uh, I worked with uh, Raldo's details for some of the design work. Tony's a great guy. Um, I consider him a friend for sure. We got air. We don't use air a whole lot. Of course, our pressure washer on 100 foot. Uh, it's a Krinsla pressure washer. I'll try to show you some of the stuff that's actually behind there. Of course, we got power and a vacuum. The vacuum is the only one that's not on a retractable, but it is on a Cox um, reel that I have to manually do. So I'm gonna move some of these buckets out of the way so that I can actually show you back behind there. You can see it's gotten really, really beat up along the wall here just from the buckets and, and things. I will repaint that, but it's the style of paint that I used and it was a gloss finish behind, so things just kind of came off, unfortunately. So. Let's go check out the other side. Here's the other side for the wrap. I love the way this looks on the outside. We had a few designs that we were working with, um, but this is the one that ended up finishing. I'll show you the front real quick as we walk around. So what I did on the front is this was faded single stage paint and I actually re-clear coated the hood and the whole front piece there um, because we weren't gonna wrap that. So I just put new clear on there. Uh, we are going to be getting new glass in the front, and then we'll tint those full windshields as well. So um, I already have this open, so you can go in here. On the inside, it's a big boy. So it's a, we do have a jumper seat, so I can. it's two of us that go along. We have all our safety equipment, of course. Um, it's pretty dirty, like I said, up front. I got broken cup holders, but I got some new ones off Amazon to replace. Ooh, it's nice and quiet in here now. Uh, we're going to see how much I can show you. We got a toilet in here, never had to use it, but we have it just in case. Um, we're on a job that we need to. We got our interior caddy over on this side. We have our extractor because we just did a job that we actually required that we needed to use that. Uh, I got a spare vacuum in here in case we needed a full size garbage can. Uh, my big generator, extra fuel. Uh, this We just got some drying towels hanging out here. On this side, we have a pretty large Husky cabinet. So it's amazing how much room we can have in here. Um, we got plenty of towels. Actually, we got some that I need to get put back in here that were dirty. 
uh, lots of a uh, lots of this is like my spare stuff that I don't use necessarily on every car. Um, and then we got some backup stuff in a little container down here. This all eventually make look a little bit nicer, but you know we use it, so it makes it tough to always be working on it. And we're just so busy right now that it's hard to keep up with this stuff. To be honest, I really wanted to put a TV here and all that, but I haven't, and that's okay. Uh, but we have access to our generator for fueling, just like that. Um, we put an event up top because we wanted to really keep it cooler in here. Um, in the summertime, I've actually overloaded some stuff because of the heat. We're going to step back over here. Usually the extractor's not here, so sorry about that. So I'm going to show you kind of the goods back here. We got a vacuum aid central vac running our vacuum system which is a powerful, powerful beast. That one used to be in the shop. There's the hose reel. There's the electrical reel, pressure washer retractable reel. And back in the corner there is the Krinsla and there's the air hose. I'm running the uh, Fortress Harbor Freight. Uh, this thing is an absolute beast for mobile. So, and it'll fit in small rigs. So if you're looking for a uh, very powerful air setup for mobile, this this actually, it keeps up really, really well. Um, one thing you might be thinking, maybe not, but how do we get the gases from the generator out? We got, we bought this uh, exhaust piece offline and are actually able to plumb it outside. So that's super cool. Um, so we don't get any fumes in here really pretty much at all. Um, which is awesome. So, and then we have a 110 gallon water tank. This is actually, <laughs> we got freaking chicken poop on there. Uh, thank you chickens for sneaking in here. We got our 110 gallon water tank that we had in the Silverado in here. I actually have it tilted up a little bit on the backside so that our, it's too dark down there to show you all the piping, but piping is pretty straightforward. If you are curious about that, you could watch um, one of our build videos on this setup uh which is pretty cool so anyway that's the majority of it if you guys got questions about this build i'm going to jump out the back that's what's super cool is we made a walkthrough where we can actually get access to it all and when we're on a site these buckets are not in the way there we go so anyway if you got questions about the setup or anything like that, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Um, let me know what you guys think uh, you, about the setup. Um, if there's, like I said, questions or anything like that about the setup, feel free to just reach out. You can reach out by send, leaving me a comment down below. I uh, would love for you guys to all hit a, the like button, of course. Uh, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. Uh, appreciate you all. Thank you for watching. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this little jaunt through my mobile setup. Thanks guys. Peace.